In this video, I want to talk about social media and what social media is. Now, my first question would be, what do people actually do on social media? Uh, I think for most people, social media is like an indulgence. It is some place where after a hard day's work, and in most, in, in some, in some places of work, social media uh, websites are blocked, social media platforms are blocked, so they cannot access their news feeds unless they somehow um, access their mobile phones. And in some places, mobile phones are not even allowed for stuff, uh, let alone um, uh, even logging in uh, onto their social media um, websites on the web computers. They're not even allowed to do that. So when it's lunchtime or when they get home, it's an indulgence and they, because they're not used to doing work, okay, or things which are related to their work or their social, uh, using their social media platforms, they view it as something which is like a treat to them. So, but for an entrepreneur, uh, social media platforms are like a marketplace. Okay, it's where they can um, showcase their product and services because wherever there are a lot of people like on social media, uh, entrepreneurs or businesses want to advertise, they want to sell products, okay? It's a market. Um, and mostly people are blogging and they are, they are, they are, doing, they are using written blogs or they are, blog, they are writing uh, instead of maybe audio or video. Now let's bear in mind that the television and the newspaper were at some point competing for our attention. But I think the television would win where there was both television and the newspaper. And the newspaper would win where it was not possible to watch television. Then we had uh, televisions being put in public places like maybe in a hair salon to attract customers, um, the owner of the hair saloon would place a television station, and they still do, uh, but they also have newspapers for people to read. But you'll find that people are reading or they're opening the pages of a magazine or a newspaper, when at the same time they are watching something on TV, so if something catches their attention, because sound will always catch your attention. If you're reading something and you hear sound, you always stop what you're reading. To pay attention to the sound and if there's a flash you always um, pay attention to the light to where that uh, flash is coming from I think it's something to do with our evolution but what the internet has done is that it has evolved to be able to accommodate video so now we have live streaming on most social media platforms we have live streaming on Facebook, we have Periscope on Twitter, um, Google has YouTube, you can stream on YouTube or you can just post videos, you can stream on Instagram, you can post videos on Snapchat. So most of the social media networks have now enabled uh, audio and video. And there's another platform I like very much called Anchor. And on that platform, it's like your personal radio station. You can uh, talk on anything, okay, and post and share your audio content, right? So social media has is transforming from being just somewhere where you can just write texts, like on Twitter, you could be with your 140 characters, or on Facebook. And uh, what I've noted with Facebook is that the shorter the, your post is, the more reaction you get on that post. So just a small sentence, just a short sentence, instead of writing a full paragraph. Now, there are people who like to, to read uh, the long posts, but um, it's only a certain type of people and they probably have the time. If they're on the go, they are likely not to read the long posts. They are likely to save them and read them later or just forget about them. Whereas they can quickly interact with the short post. And also if you have long posts in your comments, long comments, then people are like less likely to read all the long 
uh, comments that I would prefer to read just the short ones okay so you can see how the attention is divided between uh, the written word and audio and video and now with headphones and earphones people uh, who are traveling are more likely to be watching some video on their smartphones than reading a long text uh, blog post unless if that blog post is really important to them but if it's fighting for attention i think video and audio is winning especially audio because you can listen to music you can listen to a podcast on audio um, but video is also becoming um, more popular and people are more likely to read especially i mean to watch short videos like under one minute 10 seconds i think is the was the maximum at some point it still is the maximum for snapchat which is why it has become such a popular platform okay so i'm discussing social media and i'm discussing um how people are using social media and also how they are lagging behind on using video and audio most people are blogging which is fine but i think it is underpriced uh, the video is underpriced in terms of its its uh, presence on social media platforms web 2.0 has enabled live streaming or just video uploads so facebook twitter um, Instagram and all sorts of apps are coming up which are taking advantage of the capabilities afforded uh, or accorded by web 2.0 which has enabled even live streaming okay so writing is still the content creation of choice people still prefer to write but audio and video are the consumption content of choice so uh, whereas content creators prefer to write consumers prefer audio and video i've seen it myself when i post an audio or when i post a video i get more reaction from that video than the written content okay so it um it has become something that i have to think about in terms of do i carry on uh, writing blog posts long ones and I think there's still a market for that or do I abandon that and just do audio and video or do I do uh, audio and transcribe it back into into a written text or do I do written text and also repurpose it into into audio I think those three have I think it depends on the platform and uh, if it was an anchor for example obviously it's audio if it's YouTube it's obviously audio if I mean video and audio as well if it's um, on let's say medium um, then the written text would be more appropriate if it is uh, Facebook uh, both video and audio and uh, the written word is still appropriate but I think you, ne you need to have a mix of all three okay otherwise uh, your content uh, lacks that uh, variety and people will be more likely to consume where they are able to access uh, video so yeah I just wanted to talk about social media and how we are missing out on the audio and video content creation part of it because believe it or not you are all content creators and you're all content consumers so you're creating by writing your, your status updates on Facebook and on Twitter but uh, you're also consuming and you'll find that you prefer to consume video and audio but you still think that writing is better for you I think it's more intuitive in terms of the way that we've been educated um, many many years of education and practicing writing but not enough practice in audio uh, in terms of presentation and also not enough in acting in terms of uh, video creation uh, so thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video